Decisions are in the work in the Georgetown County School District on how and where students will be taught this upcoming school year. News 2's Katie Augustine explains the three phases of this reopening plan in Georgetown County and how the district is trying to help its students. GCSD task forces are working to figure out every detail from logistics of instruction to transportation changes to providing internet access to households that need it. Daily changes in coronavirus data and recommendations from health leaders impacting the school district's reopening plan. The, the key to it for us is continuing to monitor the circumstances. Right now, GCSD is slated to begin school on September 8th, but the format is still undetermined. Three phases prepared, remote, hybrid, and prime. The first phase, Georgetown Remote, is an all-virtual learning pathway. Once it's permissible, we'll move to Georgetown Hybrid, where students will be on campus two days a week. Here's an example of a high school hybrid schedule. Our plan is to use an AB format. That means students will be in, um, on campus on Mondays and Thursdays or on um, Tuesdays and Friday, depending on the group that they're in. Ultimately, the goal is to get back to Georgetown Prime, full-time, face-to-face instruction. For now, the district is working to provide internet access and hotspots to households across the county. Our latest data last week shows that 6,082 students comprising 4,958 households in our district qualify under this provision. Another positive, whatever the learning situation, all school cafeterias will be open to provide meals for pickup. Some details for the school year still up in the air because the district has to be ready for what may come next. We think our plan is uh, one that is very flexible, that can be adapted well. The district has sent their reopening plan to the State Department of Education and is awaiting approval. I'm Katie Augustine, Count on Two.